all right guys thank you for joining me in this video number eight out of ten i will show you how to set up svelte with vs code you can actually set it up with any other editor you guys want i'm just using vs code for this tutorial so the first thing you need to do is install node.js you go to google search for node.js you will get to node.js.org download it and install it once you have installed that, you can go to the Svelte website, which is svelte.dev. And over here, you are going to find the steps that you need to follow in order to get Svelte installed in your application. So let's go to VS Code now. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install a package that will allow us to have some Svelte support. So you can see that the one I'm using is from James Birtles and I'm going to enable it. You just go ahead, download it, enable it. So that's the first thing you need to do. Once you have that enabled, you can see that I have the back folder which contains all my API and the front folder that will contain all the code for Svelte and at the moment that's empty. So we're going to open the terminal. You can just go to view and then open the terminal. I'm opening just by with my shortcut, which is different between computers. And in the terminal, I'm going to copy the commands that this Vel website is telling me to copy. So I copy this. Let me just give, give some space here like so. And let me just cancel that. For some reason, this went a little bit off. All right. Let me just clear the screen. Okay. So before we even paste the command, if you pay attention to the htdocs, which is this folder here, I'm not going to install Svelte under htdocs. I'm going to install it under the front folder or the front end. So we just move to the front folder. So now I'm pointing to this folder there. Now I'm going to let's clear this again. Something is off with my editor. All right, and I'm going to paste, but I just copied from this web page. And over here, it says that it's going to create a project called my Svelte project, which we don't need this, which is do it dot. And the dot means that under the front folder, I'm going to create an Svelte application. Let's hit enter and wait a little bit. All right, it's a cloned, something has happened. Now we're going to cd into the project. We are already inside the project. So if you pay attention here, with this command that I run, the copy and paste command, we got this out. So we have the basic structure for Svelte, but we have not installed all the dependencies, all the packages that's needed. So according to the page, we need to npm install it. I do not need to move to that folder because I created the folder starting with my originally in my front file. So now I'm just going to install, paste it. When I do this, it will take some seconds and you will see that a new folder will pop up somewhere there and the folder will contain all the dependencies for my Svelte application. Let's wait a little bit. There you go we have these dependencies so that will do and the last thing we need to copy and paste is the run dev npm run dev i just copy that and i will paste it here npm run dev that's the same as pasting we hit enter and now we have an svelte application running on port 5000 Let's just copy this. You can also control click as it says there, paste it. And that's my Svelte application. Now I'm going to put this and that next to each other. So we can just run a few tests. All right, that's running. I want to show you a trick here. I'm going to hide the, the explorer here. So if this terminal is running and you have other terminals, you could do control shift P and then you can rename the terminal. You just type rename. 
and then you can give it a name i will call this server so as soon as you have the server terminal here you know that if you want to add another terminal you can just rename it so i do this with Control shift p and then rename so i'm going to hide the console the terminal for now i'm not closing it i'm just hiding it and this hello world is coming from the app is spelled this export let name hello name this hello if i change it to access it automatically changes there so this is the main setup for as well we don't need any of these we don't need any styling we don't even need that i usually do spaces i will put a video description a description underneath this video so you can go and see how I set up Svel and I go in depth with each part of the Svel application. These are just spaces, I like to do that. So over here we'll have the DOM elements and underneath the DOM elements I will have the styling. This is my usual setup. So I can just save it and now I have my blank page. I can start creating my application here. I guess that's the setup for Svel. Thanks to this package that we activated here, we get this color highlight and we get syntax help and stuff like that. Node.js allowed us to do the npm run dev and npm install, and we did it from here. That's because of Node.js, and this is also because of Node.js. So this is a short video, guys, and we are ready to start coding the front end that will connect to the API. Thank you.